Hey everyone, this is the Northerly Gas and dealership here, the one and only You Don't Know Me But You Will. So in this video, I basically want to talk about uh, fears, especially one of the biggest fears that I've had for quite a long time. I think I'm only going to focus on that one and then probably I will talk about more fears that I've had in following videos coming up. I'll probably start it as like a mini series of some sort. So. The number one fear that I've had for the longest time is driving. And I'm going to explain that to y'all right now. So it's, let me travel y'all back in time to 1990. I believe it was early 1990 before I turned six years old. I think I was still in school at the time. This was before summer. And I was still in kindergarten. <clears throat> so my mom was uh parked between between a spot at the central library which is in downtown atlanta uh it's the the tight spot that she was parked at was it's like was like this so not knowing that there was a car that was behind her i was sending up on my seat and she got distracted because of me. So instead of putting her car in reverse, as that car was about to reverse, she instead accelerated and was looking at me the whole time because I was, you know, acting, you know, acting erratic and being sitting on my seat. And all of a sudden, the car crashed on the brick wall. And while I was standing up, my body fell down this way, hit hit the hit the the bottom of my hit the bottom of the passenger seat. Next thing you know, I felt my teeth was was knocked out. One of as a matter of fact, some of my tooth dislodged up my lip, similar to Mick Foley from the nineteen ninety eight Hell in the Cell match, as you can see this picture right here. Uh, and then the skin from my lips were also completely removed and exposed um, the muscle tissue of my lips. Next thing you know, I was crying like crazy and bleeding all over. But the most, the most saddest moment that I remember that day, besides me just you know crying and then the paramedics um, trying to control me while also um, rushing me to, to the hospital, it was seeing my mom crying and the paramedics was like holding her back and she's like, my baby, my baby. And see her, you know, all in tears. I can never forget that, that image to this very day. I can never forget seeing that. And it made me fear of driving for such a long time. It made me fear of being in a vehicle for quite a long time. <clears throat> now, it resulted as of to this day, as of 2022, even at 37 years old, which I'm turning 38 next month in August, that I have a fear that I still take public transportation to this day as we speak, or I take a Uber or Lyft. And I know it sucks because for someone like me that has his own, his own business doing photography, videography, and so forth, which... I now consider it more of like a side business instead of like an actual business, even though I, even though it is an LLC, because I still work a regular job. Had I learned how to drive a long time ago, I would have had, I would have been able to have a car to this day and been able to do the photography and videography thing for, you know, full time. I didn't start having lessons again until 2014, which to this day, I passed the written test. So I have my learner's permit, but I took the road test twice. <clears throat> I failed it twice. The first time that I took it, I nearly passed with a 70, I nearly passed. And in the state of Georgia, it's a 75%, but I got, ended up getting 74. And the second time I took it, because the instructor, um, made me uncomfortable with her attitude and so forth, I ended up getting a 73 instead of a 75. So 
now that as time goes by, my fears of getting into a vehicle are starting to simmer down now, especially as I get older. So as we speak, one of the things that I plan to do later this year is to contact a um, driving school again so I can be able to pick up the pace or re-pick up the pace on my driving on my driving skills. Now, when I have um, taken some driving lessons, either from my mom or from the same driving school that I got in contact with back in 2014, I actually did a, a pretty um, a pretty decent job. So I can say that I know how to drive, but I don't have enough confidence, especially since I still have that fear going back to what happened to me back in 1990. But also, I realized that it's time for me to fully be able to <clears throat> progress my brain to bust out of that fear, like print, like playing the breakout video game. You know how in breakout, how you know how you have the scrolling, the scrolling bar, and the ball hits these bars up top, like that. That's how I needed to make it happen. So it can break out of that fear and then go all the way up without any without any of the top bars around. And especially as my mom gets older, because she's 70 years old this year. And in the recent years, the way that she's been driving kind of, you know, scares me a little bit, especially when she is not on her lane as much as, you know, while she's driving. And also, you know, driving with one hand. There's nothing wrong with driving with one hand, but it's just her, it's just seeing her, you know, sometimes not being on her lane. So if you like, are, so like when you drive on the straight lane, you're fine. But as you're driving the straight lane and then you go like this, that's what I fear, especially due to the fact that I hope that police do not stop her, you know, for driving somewhat erratic or whatnot. But that's the way I see it. So that's probably all what I want to say about this fear that I'm going through. And it's a fear that I need to bust out. I'm sorry. When I think about, you know, that, that, dry, that crash, it kind of brings back those very eerie memories. But anyhow, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope y'all can um, learn from this fear of mine. And if anybody else has had a fear of driving for quite a long time, uh, please feel free to comment on this video, um, share it with your friends, with anyone who also has a fear of driving. And if you are just like me, let's fight this fear. Let's fight this fear. Let's knock it out like Mike Tyson did to Trevor Burbank back in 86 and won the heavyweight championship for the first time. That's how we got to be. That is all. So come see it,